Greetings from the Great Upstairs. I'm Elizabeth, and today I wanted to share my mini little order from Joggles.com. It is the first order I've ever placed with them. They seem to have a lot of fun cr things you can craft with and do some uh, artwork, basically. I ordered it on the 19th, and it just arrived today, the 29th. I ordered my goodies and they came wrapped in the packaging had normal plain paper and some blue tissue paper which reduce reuse recycle we can add that to our stash to mail off some other stuff and then the actual paper i ordered was wrapped in a fun tissue paper how pretty is this this again reduce reuse recycle i can cut out parts of it, rip it out, tear it up, and um, glue it to the front of a card. Because tissue, you know, you get some tissue paper, and it just, it adds, it adds a little bit of character to your cards. That one's got a little dust on it from <laughs> some micas. You can probably hear the fan blowing, because it's, I don't know, 80, 90 degrees up here now. Blech put that AC to overtime but yeah so we're gonna add this to the crafting stash and here it is the lovely black plastic paper is basically similar to the U pole or the uh, Bray Reese uh, I probably said her name wrong but this gal she's got her own line of plastic style paper works like I said very similar to you po but uh, this stuff here is by graphics they do not sell straight from their their website they show you what you have and then have links to people where you can go find their products some of their products are held in regular bot stores and whatnot but uh, the craft plastic I think is fairly new because the couple of websites I was checking out made it seem like it's fairly new. Um, but yeah, let's... Very pretty stuff. Let's see if we can't do something like that. But I did use my basic paper trimmer. This little guy here, little Fiskars. Easy peasy. Cuts like butter. No hiccups or anything. Nice clean edges and stuff. But I will note, okay, there's, um, <laughs> I hit it with a paper towel trying to dust it off and it left marks. It mars up very, very easily, okay? So you're going to want to be careful what you do. However, it does have two sides. One is a super smooth the other is it is also smooth but you can feel it there's like a tooth to it it's very very nice now the other item I purchased from joggles I got two white inks and then the rainbow of course you got the two white inks because you just bought a big old stack of 12 by 12 black paper right so you need some white down um, super easy push the top off push a push pin down in there and that's a little hard I mean you got to get some good pushing to get it to pop in there but once it does it's it's good to flow now even the white has a marble I have the uh, jacquard jacquard pinata no marble I got this color here rainbow wait till we see that that's super cool but we're gonna do a little bit on both sides so we're gonna do a little bit on the smooth side and then we're gonna do a little bit on the texture side and you can see I've got <laughs> glitter mica from another project I was doing everywhere but that's okay because it's glitter right okay so I have the alcohol blending solution make sure this stays right there so we can see that I've got the 91% isopropyl yeah it's a word I can't say the alcohol the good stuff 
And then I picked out stream patina and coral to use with the white and the rainbow. But before we do, we're just going to give a little comparison against the marabou and pinata. Ugh. Okay. So we're going to do a little circle of that and see what it does. Get it to run a little. Hit it with the blower. Ah, good movement for a white. Then we're going to make a little dog. Give a little tap. Not similar. They do a little bit different at this point. Let's see if it's a fluke or whatnot, but we've got different texturing going on. Okay. Why am I putting these lids back on? I need them off. Stay off. Off with your heads. Off with your heads. All right, you back that up, scooch that back. Should probably tape that in the spot. Okay, let's go. Nice running. Yep, definitely different, different. And this is on the textured side, the textured side. You could basically use both whites in the same project because they're going to do different, different. I like that, I like that. Let's see, we're gonna flip this around. We're gonna do an alcohol puddle and an alcohol puddle and we're gonna do a drop or two and a puff. Ooh, let that dry a second. Very interesting. Look at that. That's with the alcohol. And on this side we have the marabou and on this side we have, which is bizarre because this almost looks like, you know, we had the, hmm, doo -doo -doo -doo. M for marabou, oh really, P for pinata. And then we flipped it around and then we did the marabou on that side and we did the pinata on that side. Very interesting. Look at that. Okay, let's see what the blending solution does. Not particularly. This one kind of freaks me out how it comes out. So we're going to... Okay, set that down. Now we're going to go with the same... That one can go in that puddle, and that one can go in that puddle, and then we're gonna go poof. Oh, look at that again. Hmm, interesting. It's very pretty though. I like that. What if we did it in reverse? Let's put the marabou and the pinata. We're gonna put them down first. And then we're gonna add a drop of alcohol. Now I didn't get it in the whole thing. I don't know if you noticed that. We'll get it blown around a little bit. Leave that one dried up. Very interesting though. Check that out.
definitely different each time. These marbles look about the same, except this one's got more shadowing. But then you look over here, and it was just, and that's with the alcohol, and that's with the uh, blending solution. Super cool. That's our first test, our second test, just to see. We kind of did them at the same time. really like I like the texture of this one I like the smoothness and then yeah both unique so it wouldn't hurt to have both definitely depending on what you're going for right so let us see what it does on the other side okay it ran over a little bit. Okay. So we're going to do the uh, same order. We're going to do Marabou and Pinata. Okay. We're going to let these go down a little bit. Then we're going to give a squeeze and see what it does. Okay, the Marabou definitely gave a little bit more texture. <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't dry when I set it down. Okay, there's more texture in the Marabou. There's the Pinata. Let's do Marabou and Pinata again. Get a little juice going. But we're going to add some alcohol this time. Gonna add a couple drops. Okay, never mind. We're just going to add a big puddle there blow it down just turn on my blow dryer for a hot second here get some of that extra alcohol dried up you can still see their differences even though they ran together a little bit super wispy and smooth lumpy weirdness texturing oh I take it back not weirdness it's kind of cool because then if you pour another ink over the top of it it would catch in the hills and valleys hopefully so that's with the alcohol ink let's try some blending solution do them a little further apart this time okay blending solution that comes out so weird oh that just that made a huge puddle oh I might have to do that again very wispy and broken up a little bit that's interesting okay <sighs> Marabu Pinata, take two with the blending solution. Let's try this. Okay. And we just want to give a squeezy. That's better. I like how unpredictable they are. Isn't that fabulous? Look at that. A ton of solution produced this little bit of separation. And it could be that a little bit of this got in there with that. I don't have to watch the replay, but very interesting. And then a little bit more control. Just look at how wispy that is. And that's the pinata. And this is the marabou. Okay, let's do another test. With some color. And, you know, I think... 
this is the textured side. I think I like the movement better on the smooth side. So let's play on the smooth side right here. Okay, we're gonna slide this back. Um, and I think I liked it better with the blending solution. So this project, we're gonna lay down a little bit, maybe. It's kind of crazy. And because it was interesting, we'll do a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, and there, and there. Okay. Come on, open up. Don't be shy. It's really hot in here, and those, I should have did them one drop at a time. Look at that. They dried almost instantly. That's right. Let's add some color to those drops. coral all over okay so now we're gonna go like that get some splatters in there cuz who doesn't love a good splatter come on you know what I think I need to open that up a little bit more I didn't use a push pin I just used a regular um, pin pin this is what I mean the Woo. you give a little squeeze on the bottle to get the drop to the tip and then you use your blower to blow what's on the tip off Going in with some alcohol because I don't want to use up all my blending solution since I already messed messed up. Okay, now for the fun part. <laughs> Almost forgot to show you the rainbow. The rainbow. Shake up all those little glitters in there. Okay, are you ready? I'll show you what this looks like before rainbow. Splatty, kind of fun. Okay, now rainbow. Can you see it dancing? Look at it, it's so shimmery. Now I'm not blowing it around or anything. I kind of want it spotty like the rest of it. Oh look it, it's so pretty. Check out my practice runs. Well, okay, I'll show you my practice runs, but I also added another item to my practice runs. You can see the rainbow in there. See how the rainbow is mostly like this blue shimmer, purples and stuff. And you can see there's kind of a gold in there. I added some uh, gold that I made. I made my own alcohol ink 
and I poured it on top. And this again was with blending solution, alcohol mix, um, and all the colors I used before. The or no, this one, this one was uh, I lied. Don't listen to me. I lie. This particular sample was coral and current together. That's why it's just the purples, purpley and the coral. But I wanted to add a little something to go with the rainbow. So then I did a second trial. And there it is. And you can see I had a lot of solution and alcohol on it. I dumped a ton of my homemade gold on there. And that's why you have this like color distortion here around here. It's just the different chemicals. Because they've got something in here to keep their color, you know, loose and not clumpy. And it mixed with what I made, which was just the bling it. Uh, pure mica and minerals. It's called Gold Sparkle. It's by colorart.com. Extra spelling on the color, extra spelling on the art. And uh, they're bling it. You just, this here was an ounce of alcohol with two of the teeny weeny scoops of powder. I don't have my measure scoops handy because that wouldn't be cool to show you exactly what I used. Here they are. So I used two smidgens. That's all I used. Two smidgens. The teeny weeny scoops. Now I'll show you what that gold does on this project. I don't know if I want to. Give a shake. Oh yes, I did want to. Look at that. And I'm just kind of shaking it out of the bottle. So it does a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, try that spot. Yes, I like it. Unfortunately, with um, my homemade mica powder, it doesn't have a binder in it. So, you have to spray it, which isn't bad, because this is something I did, and that is sprayed. I sprayed that with a, um, pardon me, I will read it to you. I just got a clear crystal lacquer, I think at the Home Depot. Um, this one's satin. So that's what satin looks like. And comparatively, but mind you, this is on cardboard. I recycled a package. So alcohols on cardboard, they soak in differently. They're not going to leave that shimmer and shine unless the cardboard has a special coating. Okay, but they're both shimmery and shiny. This here, if you're interested in this texture, I put alcohol in this little sprayer, <laughs> recycled sprayer. This came with a um, screen protector for my phone. And I was like, oh, what a cute little sprayer. Cleaned it out, threw some um, alcohol in there, threw a little bit of blue mica in there, um, and just sp sprayed it. The blue mica didn't show up, though. I don't think I had enough in there. Well, it showed up a little bit down there. But yeah. 
spritzing alcohol, that's what happened. It made that really cool texture in there. But again, look, packaging, that's all that was. Reuse your packaging. Chop it up. Nobody's going to see the back of it. Okay. Um, here's another reused package. See that? That's the back side. That is a piece of plastic off of a package. Um, you know, some packages come in a clear, clear plastic box. And that's what that is. That's why it's so thick. And again, spurts the alcohol right on there to blend the colors a little bit. Trying to get it to show up. But see, you can see my hand behind there. Fabulous, isn't it? Now imagine if you put a pattern card behind there, you'd still see some of it. You know? So it's going to pick up whatever you put behind it. See? Totally different now. Love using packaging. So what did we learn today? I don't know. <laughs> Blending solution in white is fun. Alcohol, eh, it kind of moves it. It, it kind of does. That's the alcohol. That's a whole lot of blending solution, but that's really pretty. The whites are definitely different. Marabu, pinata. Very cool. Marabu again with the pinata. Almost opposites from what they were doing before. Kind of looks like a cave. A reversed image of a uh, dandelion, almost. <laughs> it's even got a little stem, look at it. But yeah, you can use both sides of the graphics plastic. It scratches really easy. So you, if you're going to have a lot of negative space, be mindful. Don't be like me. <laughs> Just plow through, plow through it. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing the new Rainbow Marabou ink, which I got at joggles.com, and I also got the white from them. I got two whites because they were on sale, and with all this lovely paper, 25 sheets of 12 by 12. Okay, go check out their prices. I think you'll like them. I was... Because I ordered some craft plastic from another place before this. It's still not here. Um, and they were smaller squares. And it cost... It basically cost me more for less through the other site. But yeah, it's already cut up. But you know what? I know how to use a paper trimmer. So, that's okay. And then we're going to put our lids back on because we know what color they are. Ha, ha, ha. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Oh. And if you're like, ooh, that bling, it's really pretty. They do have different colors. They have gold sparkle, blue sparkle, all sorts of sparkles. And if you go to Tammy Anderson Art, Tammy Anderson on YouTube, she does uh, acrylic pouring, uh, resin projects, wonderful, very technical when giving help on how to do stuff. But she has a, a code you can use to get these at a, a little bit of a discount. So check out her websites for for that and to watch her videos she's absolutely amazing she's the reason i bought these 
I bought a lot of it because I can add it to alcohol and make my own alcohols. So that'll be another video. Alrighty guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.